And here we go with the final part of this WCW NWO Revenge TV title championship mode played to whatever the hell I'm calling it. Come on, psychosis. What is with all these cruiserweights being in this TV title run, huh? Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, yeah. We all know that the cream rises to the top. Alright. I really don't know what to talk about now. I rambled on long enough last time about current wrestling events or as the time this video goes up. Very outdated because this is being recorded two days before Super Showdown 2020. Bray Wyatt versus The Fiend. Did you know The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, is facing Goldberg? I said, I said Bray Wyatt versus The Fiend, I know. Did you know Bray Wyatt is facing Goldberg at Super Showdown 2020 in Saudi Arabia? Alright. Uh, I already talked about what I think about the current product, how for some reason Raw has been alright. SmackDown's starting to become unwatchable with the constant King Corbin, Roman Reigns feud, the dog food crap, and all that other stuff. It's just, ugh. I think. I don't know if I said this. I think when SmackDown got moved to Fox, they took the writers from Raw, put them on SmackDown, I took the writers from SmackDown and put them on Raw. Because they're like, we need to make this be like the new A show. Alright, Psychosis. Come here, buddy. What's your special? Oh! You're dealing with the X Factor! Brian Adams! Crush, get the fuck out of here! Sorry for swearing. Right, that was Brian Adams, right, Crush? Sit down! Come to my goddamn ring and... Yeah, get out! Get the hell out of here! Stupid Crush. As I beat that shit <laughs> psychosis here. Damn it. Was that... Yeah, that is Crush, right? Brian Adams? I think so. Wow! Holy smokes, and look. Suck it. Go back to being crushed with the uh, Hawaiian suit and everything. Which, by the way, you can see me play as Crush in WWF. I think, what was it? Royal Rumble for the Super Nintendo. And I've gone on record saying I will not be doing Royal Rumble for the Sega Genesis because the controls are just so weird. I think there's only like two wrestlers in the game that aren't in the SNES one. I think it's uh, Rick DeMotto Martel and Rick Flint? No. Is it Rick no, it's Hulk Hogan. But uh, yeah. The few good LJN games on the Super Nintendo. Wrestling games, specifically Royal Rumble and uh, WWF Raw, which Raw is the better one in my opinion. Somebody said they like Royal Rumble better. Hey, that's great. If you like what you like, I think Raw is better. Other good LJN games on uh, Super Nintendo. Uh, Maximum Carnage, though it's hard as balls. It's a good game. Oh, I didn't know I had a sleeper hold. Oh my god, I gotta make him smear with the sleeper hold because, oh my god, that animation is just amazing. They just fall over. Come on, come on. And the, the cracking noise. There it is. Oh my god. That is one of the best animations in any video game ever. You just hear their neck crack and they just fall over. I know they technically are, they tap out real quick, I think. Let's see in an instant replay. Or does he just drop? He just drops. Oh, it's amazing. It's incredible. Who's next? Not Goldberg, but... Look at that! What a coincidence! Good old Brian Adams Crush coming towards us. I am gonna get so much flack if this is not Crush. I think it is Crush, right? This was Crush. You and your stupid little rat tail. Stupid. Stupid. Hey, check me out. I'm gonna do uh, everybody's pose that they have in this game. Raven has that taunt. A lot of people share the same taunts in this game. I think only a few have uh, taunts that are exclusive to them. Macho Man has one exclusive to him. Hogan has exclusive taunts. DDP, Kevin Nash. 
Let me, let me, let me still crush this time real quick. Ooh, I'm crush. Oh god! <laughs> I'll admit that 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 running boot, pretty sick. Pretty sick that running boot. I don't have a problem with crush, by the way. Only one of the founding members of the Cycles of Apocalypse. Or, yeah, he was in the nation and got kicked out. That he founded the Cycles of Apocalypse, right? I don't have any problem with Brian Adams. It's just, it's just one person I pick out in a wrestling game or something that I feel like, hey, you shouldn't be in here. Like I said, WWE Royal Rumble. What the hell is he doing in that game? Just like uh, before he became huge, Drew McIntyre. He's in a uh, WWE All Stars, and I'm thinking to myself, what the hell is Drew McIntyre doing in WWE All Stars? That that was when he was a bum. Know. But then um, you could also say the same about like, uh, well, not even like. Who else was kind of r truth? r truth's always been a bum, but at least he's funny. Remember when r truth was main eventing Capital Punishment against John Cena for the WWE title? Man, those times were great. All right, Brian Adams. Come here. You're the one preventing me. Oh, the rock bottom type move. You're the one preventing me. We haven't even done many elbow drops during this playthrough, which is kind of sad. Well, we got to finish. Uh... Okay, spoilers. It's Canyon. It's Canyon at the end. We got to finish Canyon off with an elbow drop. Oh, we might even fin Oh, never mind. We might even finish Crush off with an elbow drop. I'm sorry, Brian Adams. Here. Yeah. Got him. Really? Really, Brian Adams? Aha! Was Test in No Mercy also? Yeah, he was. So Test has that elbow drop in both No Mercy and um, WrestleMania 2000. Brian Adams, get the hell off of me. Oh my god, I'm dead. He's holding his midsection here. I must have been working that midsection pretty good. Alright, Brian Adams. Break your leg. And I'm gonna break the back of your head now. Just keep getting up, buddy. Just keep getting up. So far, Booker T is the only one I haven't busted open, if I recall. But I will bust you open, Brian Adams. Come on, Crushy. Sit down. He's eliminated. Got him. You know what? Why not? Let's try it. Macho Man is coming at you! Haha. -ha. Thought I was gonna get counted out, didn't you? That goes up to 20. 12. Yeah! Kinda wish Macho Man would have a jump. Got him. He's done. God, this is stupid. Bring awareness by Brian Adams, formerly known as Crush from the Cycles of Apocalypse, a lion man dressing up as a soda can. I know we'll finish him off. Don't worry, I got this. I'm gonna punch him a bit. Pop him on the head. Yeah, I knew he was gonna get right back up. You know why? <clears throat> oh, no, oh, God damn it. We might make you go to sleep, boy. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. There it is. Put him to sleep, baby. He's on Dream Street now. Well, I think he might just be dead, because watch. He just collapses. You hear this? His cartilage is snap. Now he's dead. And now... We are on the TV title. Let's do this. The TV Championship. WCW TV title. You know, they put it on the guy who never held a title in the business, I believe. Good old Chris Canyon. Who better than Canyon, you know? 
I like his Mortis gimmick better just because, like I said, it's a ripoff of Reptile. Which you can be Mortis. Once you unlock Canyon, you unlock Mortis as an alternate skin. Who better than Canyon? Yeah, see, that's. He's using his Mortis, like, taunts and everything. Also, I know a lot of people use it, but the downward spiral in, this, in these games. Awesomely animated. Edge uses it in, uh, I believe, No Mercy and WrestleMania 2000. Ugh. Suck it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come here! Hey, hey. Stop it. Yeah! WWE should really make a, um... You know how they're doing the showcase mode? I know they really don't want to do like a, uh, hey, this is what's our, but they should do a showcase for one of the following, if they can. Do a showcase mode for, um, I know a lot of people will disagree with me, but I say do it for the invasion. Because that was a fun time, right? Or do it for like a WCW slash versus WWF or not like an Attitude Era one, like how they did the Attitude Era in uh, WWE 13. They should do like um, the top matches that were in WCW at the time, the ones that got the highest ratings and the ones that got the highest ratings in the WWF. Or like an ECW showcase. Whatever. Because like the only other showcase that I can think of that would do well in a 2K game if they ever, you know, fix the damn 2K games, which they kind of done better. Downward spiral. So cool looking. Like even though WWE 2K20 been uh, four months since it's been released and been patched to hell, which I believe I mentioned. I uh, found the Southpaw regional DLC very disappointing. But uh, God damn it, Crush! Leave me alone! Get out of my ring! I beat you already! I broke your damn neck! Get out of my ring! All right, Canyon, it's just you and me. It's your little eye patch. What are they going on? Oh, like the only other. Get the, get the hell out of my ring. Get the hell, get the goddamn hell out of my goddamn ring. Let's go. Uh, the only other showcase that's like a superstar that I could see working. Besides, oh, never mind, there's a couple. Um, if they want to focus on like one superstar showcase, which I hope they bring back like the 2K originals. I've enjoyed the 2K originals, even though, like I said, Southpaw Regional DLC has been kind of disappointing. I have liked the Wasteland Wanderers at the time of this recording, and Bumpin' the Night was a lot of fun. But, um, the superstars that could work for, um, like Showcase Mode, Shawn Michaels could work, Triple H, um, even though they did kind of like a Shawn Michaels Triple H feud. Oh, busted him open from the back of the head! Yeah, the Shawn Michaels Triple H feud in the, um, which was the one that had Cena on the cover, I think, that also had uh, the CM Punk John Cena. John Cena could be a good showcase mode. Um, John Michaels, John Cena, Triple H, The Rock, Undertaker could definitely be an amazing showcase mode. Oh my god. In fact, just do a showcase of The Undertaker's WrestleMania streak. Just play as 95 different versions of The Undertaker and just get all of his WrestleMania opponents. And, uh, yeah. But no, uh, I think they, I have a feeling they might do that for 2021, 2K21, because um, by the time that game comes out, it'll be 30 years since The Undertaker debuted, so they must have something special planned, maybe for Undertaker if they decide to uh, do a showcase mode, but um, I know people are going to be like, oh, what about the beat the streak mode, that was for all of Undertaker, it's like, yeah, but you didn't get to play as Undertaker, well, wait, you did. Defend the streak, but uh, when it came to beating the streak, you couldn't be the Undertaker. I did like the fact, though, that um, you could choose one of three Undertakers to fight: the American Badass, the classic, as I call him, Purple Gloves Taker, or uh, Modern Day Taker. Even Ministry Taker got on the thing. God damn it, Canyon, stay down. He's done. He's out. Wait, I said we gotta finish him off with an elbow drop. So hopefully, this goddamn elbow drop. Can... Uh, 
Uh, what else? What else? Um, yeah, there's nothing else I can really say. 2K20 has gotten a little better, but hasn't been great. Suck it, Canyon. You're done. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Man, Randy Savage does not allow rope breaks. I'm gonna elbow drop him right in the gonads. Got him in the chest. Kicked out of the elbow drop. Is this gonna be like an Ultimate Warrior situation? Was it the Ultimate Warrior? Well, Macho Man did like 95 elbow drops to him. No, that's over exact. Brian Adams, I do not like the way you are looking at me. No, you're not looking at me. You're looking at me. <laughs> Oh my god, I just like the fighter stance change. Oh, my arm! I know what you're thinking. Hey, why don't you try to be Eric Bischoff in this game and win the uh, WCW title? Joke's on you. Eric Bischoff can't grapple. Eric Bischoff is the joke character of this game. All he can do is strike. He cannot grapple. His A moves are replaced with like strong kicks. I might try it one day. That'd be actually a little funny. But... Hell, I might even go through this again, the the, uh, the Japanese ripoff characters. Because those guys are actually kind of fun. I kind of wish... See, I, a lot of people hate the fact that with the 2K20, that they had uh, characters like Riley Flash, Brooklyn Vaughn, whatever, uh, Ribeye and everything. I love those strange unlockables in the old like wrestling games. Like, I loved in uh, WWF Attitude, Head was a playable character. It was just a head with gloves and boots and an invisible body. That was the best. That was amazing. And Paul Bear was a hidden character. And um, just a whole bunch of random managers were hidden characters in that game. Just had to do my special taunt there. Um, what else? Um, WWF No Mercy, that was the first game, I believe, to introduce Legends. Andre was a... Uh, well, technically, Andre and Ken Shamrock, because Ken Shamrock... No, technically, WrestleMania 2000, because Shawn Michaels was retired at the time. Ken Shamrock and Andre being hidden, no mercy. God damn it, Canyon. Um, I also loved, what was it, Rest SmackDown 2008? Yeah. SmackDown 2008. I think it's, uh... 2008 had... Red and green, and that was that was hilarious because they're like, uh, oh, we're just gonna put these characters in here just for the hell of it. I make stables out of those characters, which is fun. Like that's why I love the uh, the 2K originals. Made a huge stable out of all the zombie characters and just called them the Walking Dead or something like that. It's stupid but fun. Um, what else? Who, who else was fun? Um, Undertaker's Druid being unlockable was fun. Um, oh, one that was really fun. Uh, does anybody remember? Oh my god, what was it? Was it 2008 or 2007? It was, um, whichever one had Anthony, aka Tony, and the Masked Man. Masked Man, spoilers, being Randy Orton and Mr. Kennedy, and Anthony just being in, uh, what's his name? John Cena's story mode. His road to WrestleMania mode. And I think I have those games still. I'm gonna probably play every one on the channel. Suck it, Canyon! Beat him with the elbow drop. Not even talking about the match, just talking about how great some wrestling games unlockables are. Look at that in slow motion. Pop! Right to the nads. What's your man Randy Savage did you do? Reigning! Defending! Undisputed television champion of the world. Oh yeah. Say everything twice. Say everything twice. You have won the WCW TV belt with Macho Man Randy Savage. That's the longest name in the game. Woo! Then we get to see the cool unlocked thing. You've unlocked a new superstar for your roster. Look at that. Rank in. That's awesome. Uh, let's uh, do this. A uh, male. But I also... No. Um, male dash. 
hand. Don't know what that means? Oh! oh suck it, Cat, and Tech, and Yuri, and Ta, and Min, and Asia. Disco Inferno, wow. Got. Here we go. Let's see that awesome unlock. Secret character into your roster. His name is... Canyon. Yeah, baby. Before we go, I will show you that Canyon also comes with a another outfit. His reptile outfit ripoff, basically. So yes, you can have a match between Wrath, Mortis, and Glacier, the three Mortal Kombat characters. I think Wrath was, uh, wait, is Wrath in this? Yeah! Okay, okay, can I skip this? Okay, good. We'll show the credits some other time. I think I said at the end of the world video. But, uh, for an exhibition signal. I'll stay at Super Bowl because we'll go to Bash at the Beach for the uh, other title. Uh, the last character here is uh, the next character we're going to unlock. Let's see. Oh, by the. No, no. Where am I going? Where is he? Canyon's right here. You got Canyon, and you got Mortis. See, that's really cool. I actually really love that attire. I don't know why. It's really cool looking, but his face stays green, even in that blue attire. So you got Mortis. Then you got, you know, Sub-Zero here. <laughs> and I think, I think Wrath is in the game, if I recall. Is he in the uh, NWO? Could have sworn he was. Maybe he's unlocked. God damn it, I figured I'd fall on Brian Adams. I should make a crush alternate outfit. Look at all this. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. By the way, this character also has the second most masks in the game with different colors. Ray Mysterio has both. Hope you enjoyed this playthrough of Macho Man Randy Savage trying to win the TV title. Stay tuned. We're going for the U.S. title next. My name is Clickeroth. And I thank you all so much for watching. By the way, Juventud Guerrero, see? That's his mask. Thank you all so much for watching.